Okay, good evening, folks. Welcome back to another episode um, of Pokemon VGC Battle Stadium Series 7 video. This time, uh, showcasing another team that was uh, brought to me by my guy, Rashawn. He wanted me to pilot this team and give him some feedback based on uh, some of the battles that I would go through with the squad. And uh, he's got a cool one, I, I gotta say. He's got the Sun Core, of course, with a Torkoal and Venusaur. And, of course, the top, the Dusclops will help. Uh, set the trick room for the dust uh, for the Torkoal, but uh, we know what Sun does uh, with Torkoal Venusaur, right? Eruption plays um, and uh, doubling Venusaur's speed to make it hit hard and super fast. Uh, now he's not running Sleep Powder, which is great because I love that he's not running Sleep Powder. I hate that, and I love he just went the you know hard hitting moves like Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power. That's good. And uh, he's also got Choice Band Swamp Word, okay? Very interesting. Uh, and I can see the Ferramosa that would probably go with it with the Coaching Speed Swap plays, uh, along with Ice Beam and Electro Web, okay? Very nice. And he's also got Regirock, also would likely be paired with the Ferramosa. And uh, and again, we did mention the Dust Claps for the Trick Room option. So, super excited to try out this team. Um, rent a code is there if you want to give it a go, but uh, let's just jump right into some battles. Okay, so this looks very familiar. Um, Reggie Gigas Weezing, we, we know that. Um, splashable Tapu Fini Urshifu and uh, Rillaboom Dragapult. Okay. Um, okay, so I have to beat Weezing Gigas, right? How am I going to do that? That is the question. Well, we have ground answers very nicely. I could just go Venu and Smash. I could go Swampert. Actually, this is going to be kind of funny. Hold on. High horsepower. Huh. Stab, not bad. I could go for that. Um, actually, besides Rillaboom, I'm looking okay. Let's try the speed swap coaching combos. And in the back, we can go... Yeah, we can go speed mode. We can go Venu Torkoal. Yeah, I don't think Regirock is the play here. Too many uh, fighting water and grass mons there. And that's fine. I think this is okay. Oh, look at that trainer card. That Meowth. And he seems to have completed his Pokedex. I haven't. <laughs> he looks like Ash. Okay. Well, if he plays anything like Ash, like in the anime, then we're in a good spot. And I couldn't have told you that he was going to lead the Gigas Weezing combo. And uh, if he's a true pleb, he would protect Weezing turn 1 and Dynamax the Gigas and try and go for speed control with his max strike. And then, okay, that is fine. I could just go for glory on the Gigas right now. I could, but why would I need to when I can just kill the Weezing? Um... So here's what we do. We are going to do this. We're going to quake into the wheezing. And why? We could just go for coaching. And or do I want speed swap? Ah, let's go for speed control. Let's go speed swap. Let's go speed swap. And try and get this KO on the wheezing. Let's see if he protects. Dynamax and Gigas, right. as they always do. Nothing different there. All right. Probably Max Strike. Now, does the does the um, Weezing go for Protect? Let's call it. Uh, after we do our Dynamax animation. So that means he probably has the Rillaboom and the Feeny in the back. And that's good news for us. 
because that's speed mode. Because Venusaur would just smash both of them. All right, here's our speed swap. And uh, looks like it didn't protect, which means this should be a free kill, if I'm not mistaken. And it is a free kill, so now Gigas is absolute garbage, and that's how you beat the combo. We got the crit. I, I'm probably going to say it didn't matter. Now, let's see the max strike. Let's see the max strike. And there's a max strike. Very nice. Alright, how much does this do? Absolute garbage. And we're going to just go for coaching next turn. Uh, but our Swamp Bird is faster, so I guess that's fine. But he will have speed control. Now, if this is the Rillaboom, this is going to suck. But we can just go for Ice Beam. Oh, it's the Feeny. Alright. Tapu Feeny. Alright, so we get our Spadef boost, which was nice. Um, how do I want to play this? Probably just going to leave the Gigas alone. Just get rid of the Feeny. I mean, this is this is Stab, so let's just go with that. Electro Web. Ah, so the speed control play. That would be kind of cool. But I think we're just going to go for coaching. And we're not going to go first um, with our, our Feramosa, but that's fine. Let's see how much this does. Okay, a little more than half. A little more than half. Now, does the Gigas go for another max strike? Okay, that's gonna hurt. Does he double in? He does. Very nice. Goes for the Feramosa. So I don't get a coaching off. That's fine. Alright. Now. How do I want to play this? Or slower. Um, let me think about it. Let's go Venu now. Kill the Feeny. All right. So we are going to do a couple of things. We're gonna max Quake on the Gigas. Let's see how much this does. And then we'll just Sludge Bomb the Feeny. Sounds good! All right, Feeny protects, that's fine. We call that. And here, he'll block it. Now let's see how much this does. Max Quake. I mean, Gigas is still kind of hitting hard, and that's not good. <laughs> Alright, you got a nice spidef boost there. Alright, here comes the max strike. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god, that still does so much damage. Alright, so my Venu gets a speed drop, but that's still fine. Okay, I'm probably going to have to switch the Swamper here, I think. Do I need to do that? Let me think about this. Because I need to kill this Gigas, he's like murdering me. Um, How do I want to play this? Well, he already striked me twice, so I'm not faster anymore. So I think what I... but I think I am faster with the Venu. And that's fine. So I'm just gonna switch out into the Torkoal. And if he lowers my speed, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and then we kill the Feeny because he already protected. So I switch into my Torkoal, get the speed, boost a little bit for my Venu, and then we Sludge Bomb the Tapu Feeny. 
Alright, I think this is okay. Let's find out. Yep, it is. We're gonna get the Feeny here. And we're gonna see if he targets something else. Ice Punch. Where? Oh, okay. Into the Venus slot. Smart choice. Alright, if this last one is Rillaboom, we're in trouble. Alright, but let's see. If it's Rillaboom, we're in trouble. I hope it's not Rillaboom. It's Urshifu. Okay. Not too bad. Um. Let's see. He might call the... See, I can't really protect in front of Urshifu, right? Because he's, he's just gonna punch me. Um. Wait, there's no Heat Wave on this! Why is there no Heat Wave? Uh oh. Uh -huh. Okay, um. So, not sure why you why there's Solar Beam here, but I kind of thought there would be Heat Wave here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I can't click this. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna go for it. And we're just going to go for this. Hopefully we can kill the Gigas. We can blow, probably, into my Torkoal. Yep, I mean... Was I supposed to go for Solar Beam there? Oh, I get a berry. That's interesting. Alright, high horsepower. Goodbye, Torkoal. Oh, he went into the Swampert! What? Alright, so here's my liquidation. Can I kill? Uh, choice man! Oh my god! Alright, that's still fine. But at least we kill the Gigas. Oh, that still does pretty good damage in the in the draught. Okay. So, yeah, I think we just win. Alright, but I, I really thought I would have Heat Wave there. Alright, then I would have just beat the Urshifu anyway. But, yeah. Let's just do it now, I guess. Solar Beam and then... And that's the game! Yeah, we beat the combo! Alright, Wicked Blow. We can only kill one. And he went for the Torkoal. That's cool. And here's Liquidation in the... Oh, I did forget that Water Move wasn't that great in the in the Sun. That was my mistake. Alright, I'll remember that. <laughs> but we do get the win. Now, that is a hot team. Alright. Trainer name not so hot. Huh? But the team overall looks like a fusion of Series 6 with Series 7. Mag Mortar Electivire, um, Porygon Z, Tyrantrum, and he also has a Pheromosa. Um, do I have Ice Punch on this? I don't remember. Was there Ice Punch? There is Ice Punch! Oh! Okay, so that is, that makes things a little more interesting. Um, he could lead the Porygon, and that kind that would kind of suck. Regirock is pretty good, except with Serena. Hmm. I see the Porygon Z being led. Maybe we could wall it. All right, let's try Regirock Feramosa. And then, what do we want in the back? I think we just want... Actually, Swampert's pretty good. Let's go Swampert, and let's go Venu. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Tyrantrum. I haven't played against one yet. Nor have I played Electivire or Magmortar, so I don't remember. I don't actually know their s their speed stats. All right, so there's Serena. 
with Feramosa. So we're he's looking at Fast Arena. Alright, and he kind of knows that... Um, you know, my, my Swampert or my Regirock is not the uh, most effective against a Serena. But we can try something. Maybe we can knock it out. But Serena does have some solid bulk. I could just go for Ice Beam and end him. And that would probably be fine. So, let's see. Like, Max Hailstorm looks great. I'm not gonna lie, Max Hailstorm looks great. So, here's what we do. We... See, I wish this really had weakness policy. Um... Okay, we're gonna do it again. He might coach and live, and then... I would die. I don't think I would die. Regirock has really had defense. So the fact that I'm Dynamaxing first tells me something. Very interesting. Um, he didn't Dynamax. Then is this a free kill? Oh, he went. Oh, he went with the Feramosa. Okay, I guess that works. So, we'll get this Hailstorm off. Oh my god, we don't even kill Serena. See, this is why you go right period. <laughs> See, that's another suggestion. I would just go right period. But, I also made the the awesome play of Dynamaxing a Rock type in front of a Grass and something that could use Ice. So, uh, I mean, he does break his Sash, I guess. But we're gonna go down here. Oh, can we go? Oh, nice! Oh, okay, yeah, that's great. So, the ice does work, I guess. I mean, we kill our own Feramosa, but... At least we're fast now, right? So, now what? Um, let's go Swampert. Let's see what he brings in. We got the Grass Thread out of the way. Tyrantrum. That's fine. Probably Scarfed. Um, yeah, so let's just do, actually, are we, oh we are, wow, Max Knuckle is effective. So here's what, oh, we have Max Steel Spike too, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, but I'd much rather... See, this is um, 180, this is 260, okay, um, I tell you what, let's, let's raise our defenses, let's go here, and we are going to go for a high horsepower on, actually none of them really do much. I'm gonna say the fair. Well, he is faster. Eh, let's just go with this. Trying not to overthink it. Was trying to consider the most optimal play. He is gonna Dynamax that. I did not think about that. If he was gonna do that, I would just I would have just doubled up. So what? I thought he would just go for like coaching plays. He Dynamax the most. This is an offensive Mosa. Wow, I've never seen a Dynamax Feramosa. I've never seen that. He's gonna kill me. Yeah, that doesn't even kill. Like... <laughs> oh, man. Do you go for Max Nuck? He did go for the Max Nuck, so... I guess that kind of works? Now, what does the Tyrantrum go for? Alright, so Tyrantrum's gonna be super hard hitting. He might just Oko my Regirock right here. Are we going for the Earthquake? Wow, that's very ballsy. Okay, that's very interesting. I should have just doubled up in the Tyrantrum. What did he heal with? Oh, alright. I mean, we are Choice Banded. Nice tech on the Swamper. You know. So now we still have a Dynamax, he doesn't, and we have a fast Regirock, and he has something that 
is weak to both of our ice moves. This is looking great. Um, so did not think he would Dynamax that with very little speed invest. I mean, uh, defense investments. So he just went down like nothing, and that's the Magmore. Okay, so I think we just win. Um, so. I, Reggie Rock will go first. I have to make sure the Magmar doesn't get anything off. Um, I don't think it matters. It's a special attacker, right? All right, let's just go Rock Fall. Because I have a V in the back right now. It doesn't matter. Let's just do this. And, oh, that's right. Okay. I'm choice banded. That should still be enough. We're banded. Alrighty. Oh, mock punch. Oh, nice try. <laughs> so he's not choice scarfed. Unless he's still not fast enough on the Tyrantrum. Okay. We get another crit. I'm probably going to say it doesn't matter. That was a stab move and it was a max move. Alright, All right, Dragon Claw. Alright, that doesn't kill Swampert because we thick! And, oh, Shell Bell. That's right, he didn't have the uh, choice card. So this is, this, is this gonna kill? Yep. Okay, so, that's another good win! Alright. Very, very nice. Oh, I am very afraid. <laughs> Is that Cradley? I'm very afraid. And there's the Ice Force with Cresselia. Okay, so he's got Sand. So Sand versus Sun. And uh, means no water is coming out here. Uh, but definitely bringing the Venue. Definitely bringing the Torkoal. He does have Cresselia there. And Trick Room is going to suck. Does he lead with sand? I am going to try something. I'm not sure it's going to work, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go Venue, and I'm going to go Dust Clops with Torkoal in the back, and then Regirock. I think that's that's good. If he leads the crest, that sucks. But then I then I would just max and go from uh, Vine Lash. See, I really wish this was a Rhyperior because even when it's not max, Rhyperior is, is still threatening a little bit. But Reggie Rock is fine. Oh my goodness, I didn't lock in time. Oh my goodness, I was talking too much. <laughs> that happens. Oh my god. Yep. Well, we're just gonna roll with this. I totally did not look at the timer. Yeah, see, Vinu would have been great here. Alright, so we'll get this. Alright, what do I have in the back? Okay, I still have Torkoal. Okay. Which probably means he might switch into Tyranitar. Give his Dracovish a boost. Okay. Um. So here's what we do. Actually, I could just go for Ice Punch. Because, like, hold on. What, like, what does he have in the back? Like, he could have the Tyranitar. And he probably has the Ice Force, right? So, why don't I just switch into Torkoal, and try and take out the Dracovish. Alright, I'm just gonna max ooze on this slot. He gets up Trick Room, he gets up Trick Room. Oh, alright, so he's going for the Tyranitar. So, we actually predicted that. 
and this is not going to work for him because we're switching out our swamp board for Torkoal. So we're going to take away his weather. And we're going to smash this Dracovish. And I would assume we kill. But we'll see. So... I hope this works. We, we called that very nicely. Alright, and Titar is going to be weak. So I'm very happy about this. If we can just get this kill, it'll be a free turn. Oh, he's dynamaxing dynam the Dracovish! What?! I mean, okay. Sure. Do you have Hailstorm? Probably to change the weather back. But, okay. Alright, so Max Ooze. Alright, I should have just went for Vine Lash. Yeah, that did nothing. Wow, that's a thick Drake of Are you vested? Definitely vested. Alright, what do you go for? Max Mindstorm! Ow! Okay. Alright, um... Ah! Uh, so, how do I do this? So he, he had, so that means he's not, he's not, or he is, and so that means he has a psychic biting move. I could just kill the, I only have one turn. Um, so your option's not really gonna do anything here. Um, the Tyranitar probably protects. I don't even know if I get this off. Let's try this. Vine Lash? Yeah, let's try this. He protects, he protects. He doesn't protect. Can we kill? Yes, we do. Alright, so that's okay. We get the uh, Vine Lash dots ticking. And uh, let's see what, what this Dracovish decides to do. Goes for the Mindstorm into the venue. So that means we get an Earth Power off, which I'm fine with. I don't think it kills by any means. But we can protect next turn and then get our Dust Clops in and then go for Trick Room. Right? Because I did bring the Clops. Oh, wait, but we timed out and I don't think I got him in, did I? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, yeah. That happened. Um. Okay. A Torpo. This is... What do I want to go here? Oh, you don't have Rock Slide. See, Stone Edge could miss. <laughs> I'd much rather have Rock Slide here. Oh man, I can't believe I, I timed out and I couldn't get the um, um, clops in. But maybe the Cresselia can help me. I don't think Trick Room would be the best of plays for him. So, here's what I will do. I could force him to attack me. See, this is where a heat wave really helps. Because when you don't have Trick Room yet and you need a fire move, this is where it helps. Um, I guess I'll just protect. Well, I do have a boost. I just have to hope I live. We're gonna hope he targets the Regirock. Right? And... 
Should we just body press that thing? We're gonna stone edge. And hope we kill! Helping hand? Oh, we definitely need a kill. Alright, Max Geyser. That's not gonna do as much. I hope this is in Reggie Rock. Oh, it was in Torkoal. Oh, but we live. See, I. That's fine. All right, so the berry will help. So we'll we'll get a little bit more damage from the eruption, but not much in the rain at all. All right, can we hit? We do. All right, nice. So this is a single target eruption in the rain. We're going to tickle Cresselia. This is actually not a bad tech because I guess when Torkoal gets low, he'll get some health back and then help him do more eruption damage. Vine Lash taking away, so that's actually kind of nice. But I am. I, I don't have a trick room. Yeah, see, like, what am I supposed to do on that? Ugh. Yeah. So that probably has the weakness policy. Yeah, like, I. <laughs> I can't even hit Cresselia with that. I mean, I don't want to really proc the policy right away. I have... I... I could just go... See, I don't want to... proc that policy. I think what has to happen... How do I win this? I could earth power this and hope for hacks. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yes, yes, they always go for ally switch. Why not? Okay, well played. And there's high horse power. Goodbye, Torkoal. And gr chilly name. And we lose. Well. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I played that as best as I could. <laughs> but now without the trick room, I can I can't be both of I can't be both of these. Uh, but I do have a swampert and we are in the rain, so maybe I can do something. So we are choice banded. All right, so I'm not going to give up yet. I'm not going to give up. I'm pretty sure this kills. Uh, we're going to go here. If he ally switches, he ally switches. And... I could go body press. Cause like, Swampert will go... If he ally switches, then we just double hit the Glacier. Right? So, let's see. I mean, see, like, this could miss! <laughs> and I don't want to risk that. I mean, either way, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. All right, liquidation will go off. Can we kill? Nice. Okay. So we are in a great spot. Okay. Now, did I make a mistake? I think I did, but we're faster, so we just have to hope. We survive here. High horsepower. It's where. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna die next turn unless this is a kill and I still have rain. Vine Lash takes coming in the clutch. Do I still have rain? Please, please, please. I didn't check. Oh, I think I do. All right. Now, hold on. He could protect and stall my rain. So, how much rain do I have? I have two turns. Okay, that's nice. So, let's see. Does he protect? If not, I think I just win. Choice Man Swampert is good. All right. I go first. He didn't protect. Can I kill? Woo! 
Ooh! Well done! Okay, so I guess that worked out! Alright, we, we even though that messed up in the beginning, we, we played it nicely. Oh wow! Is that the other version of Tornadus? I've never seen it until now, and I have no idea what it does. Because <laughs> I hardly see it. So I do see the, the Togekiss follow me, I see Metagross. Uh, I would assume the Metagross has the policy, the Cinderace... Actually, probably the Landorus might have the life form. I don't know if the Cinderace would have it. Rillaboom might be banded. And the Togekiss probably has a scope lens for crit. So I would either call the Cinderace or the Metagross lead here. Uh, actually, you could also lead all of them, technically. And I don't know how I'm going to call this. Hmm. Tricky. Um. Well, I do know that I would have the advantage later if I trick him with the Dusclops. Uh, okay. Why don't we go Vinu? We'll go Vinu, Klops, Torkoal, and Regirock. Alright. This time we didn't time out. We almost did. <laughs> we almost did it again. Um, but... Yeah, we didn't. So let's see how this one goes. Uh, I honestly don't know what to expect from that version of Tornadus. I haven't really looked at it at all. I have no idea. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Let's see. So the problem here is none of my ground moves work. And I don't think I can max... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, ooh, uh, Probably Regirock was the right lead. Hold on. Well, he could have had Rillaboom. But, still... Oh, this is not looking great. But, we're gonna try. Cause, like, late game Regirock might win. He could taunt me. Right? Alright, anyway. Um, let's Dynamax G Max Vine Lash into the Lando. And for my Dust Clops, we'll switch him out into the Torkoal. Just to get Venu that speed boost. So let's see if this works. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not... My Venu probably is gonna get smashed here. I'm not sure if this is the best, the best option to Dynamax. A Grass Pokemon in front of two things that are flying. Probably not the smartest move, but I did it anyway. Because I'm hoping to try and get this kill, and I'm probably not going to get it. So, don't do what I did, but I'm just trying this. Because I have no idea what to expect. Okay, we can expect that. <laughs> Alright. That that works. So, Venu still busted in Series 7. I think we know that now. Taunt? What? He thought I was doing sneak power to shenanigans. Well, then that works out great. <laughs> um, I, I respect the play. I, I'm going to be honest. I respect the play. Because, you know, everybody running Venusaur right now is running sneak power. Because of the... Japanese Sun Trick Room Team shenanigans. All right, so here comes Cinderace. That's 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 a cool name. Um, do you get Tailwind in that form? I don't know. I don't know if you get Tailwind. Do I want to find out? <laughs> All right, let's find out. I mean, if he goes Tailwind, Cinderace goes first, makes himself fly, and then we just miss Max quick. Um, but, uh, he could be going for the Torkoal. I'm going to try and protect the Torkoal. 
Or I actually could just go for eruption and force him to do something. Uh, do I need to protect? Uh, I could just force the attack. Alright, let's force the attack. Alright, Dynamax. Oh, no Dynamax. What? What? Okay, two kills? Then, what does this thing do? Wow. Okay. So, nice spidef boost for my Torkoal. Oh, he does have Tailwind, but he doesn't have Prankster, that's right! So his Tailwind is not as fast. Alright, so then this is a free eruption. Yeah, guys, if you're gonna use Tornadus, I mean, just use the Prankster one. I don't know why people would try this one, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what, what it does. I haven't really looked into it. But that's a easy one, I guess. Oh, Metagross. So I guess you Dynamax that. But, um, yeah, you can only kill one. And I think you lose with, with either one. Right? So we do have Vilash ticking. Uh, we're just going to go for... So, um, here's the thing. Let's see. Like, if I go Eruption now and then he targets me, um, then I just lose. Because I'm proccing his policy. Like, we know that, right? Uh, so, I could just go for Earth Power. And then that should be enough, I would hope. So, here's the Dynamax. Um, unless this is a very fast Metagross, uh, we'll see. But. Uh, either way, he's not faster than my Venusaur in the sun. He'll be faster than my Torpo. But that's why we're going for Earth Power instead of the Eruption play. Because I don't have Trick Room. So, here comes the Max Quake. Do we KO? Special attacking Life Orb Venusaur. No, because Metagross is thick. But now, what does Metagross do? Do you have an Ice Move or a Psychic Move? That's the question. Alright, we knew, we knew we were talking his policy. Alright. And it's Max Quake. This is probably into Torkoal. It is in Torkoal. And that one shot's Torkoal. Okay. That's fine. Uh huh. So here's the thing. I could be funny here. Uh, Alright, so let's switch into Dusclops. I could just ally it. He could call it. And it would be funny if he did, and then I would just lose. Um, so we're going to make him go here. And... If he calls this right, we lose. <laughs> That's the thing. So, we're gonna do it anyway. But, uh, actually, I think Earth Power from this range should just do it. Uh, but, you know, this is just to be cheeky. Because, why not? We have the button, we might as well click it. Okay, so there it is. Yep, we win. Yeah, alright. Team's nice. I mean... Yeah, Rashawn, I mean, team's pretty good. Alright, we'll take that. Alright, there you have it. So, there's Rashawn's team, and uh, I played four games with it. Uh, I originally only wanted to play three, but uh, that third game, I, I kind of messed up with the, uh, you know, I timed out, but uh, it picked the Pokemon for me. But we still we still got the game anyway. So, uh, but I still wanted it to be like a fair game where I actually would be in control of my decisions. So I played the fourth game, and um, we got a good win out of it. So I like the team overall. Like if if this didn't change at all, this is still a, a, a fine team. Uh, the one thing that I did see in the Pokey Pace uh, is with the Dusclops, uh, it was fully EV'd in Special Defense. I would actually change that to physical defense 
just so that the Dusclops can survive the Wicked Blow from Urshifu, which is running around like mad right now. So that's the first uh, thing I would change. Um, the other thing is, now, the Regirock, uh, if you want to stay Regirock, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, the only thing is I would probably opt to replace the Stone Edge with Rock Slide. Uh, simply because the Stone Edge could miss, and uh, I don't like missing my attacks. Rock Slide could miss too, uh, but it's a little bit more accurate than Stone Edge, so that would be my uh, adjustment there. Um, I don't know if the Assault Vest is best. Uh, I guess you could keep it. There would be better options if you were to use the Assault Vest. Um, but it works out fine. Uh, I would also consider maybe weakness policy on the Regirock and then putting like a Brick Break on the Dusclops. Um, but again, uh, it's perfectly fine the way it is. Uh, this is just what I would do. But as it is, it's fine. Uh, if not the Regirock, I would just go with Rhyperior, right? It's a little bit more threatening, especially if you give the Rhyperior weakness policy. And it's slower in Trick Room. So there's that. Uh, the thing with Regirock, you don't get the four times weakness then right here. So I guess to each their own. Uh, but those were just uh, would be my my tweaks. Uh, Venusaur is standard. Uh, Torkoal. See now the thing with the Torkoal, if you don't have the the Trick Room setup, uh, not that you would ever put yourself in that situation because I, I did do that a couple of times in the in the battles. But you know it helps to have another fire move that's not eruption at least to me. So instead of Solar Beam, I would just go Heat Wave. But, you know, Solar Beam is still a fine move to have. You know, it's, it's another nice tech. But, you know, if it were me, and if I needed a Fire move, then I would just go Heat Wave. But, you know, obviously if you're in Trick Room, uh, then you could just, you know, just spam Eruption and then, and then you're fine. Citrus Berry is an interesting item choice. Um, I, I understand why it's there. Because at least you get a lot more health back, so this way your eruption can hurt a little more. Um, I think you're better off going with choice specs or even a charcoal. Uh, but then if you go charcoal, then you got to go heat wave, right? So that would be uh, my my thing there. Swampert is totally fine. You could you could keep that uh, the way it is. And Feramosa, nice tech with the electron web. I could totally see some use for that. Um, but that's also fine as well. So, thank you, Rashad, for submitting this team. I had a blast with it. And if you guys want to try it out, rental code is right here. If he does change it, I will update it in the comment section. But that's it for today. Thank you, guys. See you next time.